Okay, we got a fun one now. We're gonna do repeating mace, and then I'm gonna throw the extension as well. Okay, so repeating mace is taught at orange. If you're doing the uh, 24 technique system, the extension is first degree brown. If you do the 16 technique system, the orange techniques would be required for second degree black belt. So for this one, I'm gonna need a bit of room here. Uh, Scott is gonna do a, a step through left cross push this way. Okay, I don't want that to occur. So I'm gonna do a, what we call a, a palm up waiter's hand, or sometimes called tan sal in kung fu, that I put and I hit him with the drag, and I come back with the back knuckle. And you notice the elbows in my face, that's not a good thing. I'm gonna check that, and I'm gonna go down with loop and kick. I push down on his hand. I go back knuckle paw, which sets up the spinning back kick. He hits the ground. Now Scott's only hope is to get back up. If he, his eyes roll back, I cover out. But if I see any motion and it's still in the fight, I scoop this knee, which hurts bad, and I stomp the other knee, I catch him to the groin, I kick him in the face, and I catch his knee or his shin on the way out, okay? I'm gonna break that one down again. This is a little painful one. It's a master key technique, and I repeat the mace. So let me break down the base a little bit first before I uh, get into the extension. So the push comes, I hook that, there's a dragon's head and a back knuckle. What I want you to do is not stay in a neutral boat. I want you to think of that as a push. Okay, so as the push comes, I one, two, grab that bam, downward looping kick, I cross over and push. That push will put weight on his feet and cancel his height zone. Now you notice in reversing these after the kick, I would do a rear crossover. Now I'm doing a front crossover because we can see some links and parallels between the moves. So the push comes like one, two, wrap. Do the kick, the push. Back up the claws right there, as is the spinning back kick. Notice he moved back, so I need to drag up. I drag up and I go one knee, stomp. This is landing right between his legs, which causes his head to come up. And I stomp or scrape on the way up. Let's do it on this angle. So this is repeating this. He comes with a push. By the way, that kick is a downward looping roundhouse this way. Okay? Um, it's a dangerous one. I'm not going to kick him too hard. So if I do it more like a standard roundhouse, it's for his safety. But I want to kick downward on that. So I go, one, two, grab. I can also step on his foot. That was intentional. Okay, when I cross over, if the foot is available, I might step on it. So the push comes and I grab. Oh, there's the foot. Thank you very much. One, two, three, four. Land. One, two, three, four, three. And that's repeating mace with the extension.